Congratulations on the birth of your baby. This is a very special milestone in your life, and we're excited to share the experience with you. We hope you and your family have had an excellent experience with us here at Virginia Hospital Center. Pregnancy and delivery can cause major changes in your body. This video will help answer frequently asked questions and share guidance about what is normal and when you may need to contact your doctor. Your discharge folder includes a purple sheet titled Symptoms to Watch at Home. This purple sheet is a handy tool to reference at home. We suggest placing it somewhere it's easily accessible. Now, let's get started. While you've been in the hospital, you've used large pads. At home, you should be able to transition to regular pads. Your bleeding may continue for up to four to six weeks, but it should lighten in color and lessen in amount. Your bleeding should change from red to brown and then to yellow, clear. Continue using your peri bottle at home and nothing in the vagina until your doctor says it's okay, usually after your six-week postpartum appointment. Talk to your doctor about family planning. If you are breastfeeding, please know that it does not prevent pregnancy. If you had a C-section delivery, please pay careful attention to your incision. When you shower, do not scrub at the incision site and gently pat the area dry. Look at your incision daily. You should not have any redness, bleeding, or oozing at the incision site. If you had Steri strips applied to your incision site, they will fall off on their own. As far as activity after a C-section, don't lift anything heavier than the baby for the first couple of weeks. Limit stairs and don't drive if you are taking narcotics. After delivery, you may not have a bowel movement for a few days. This is normal. Walking, drinking water, eating fiber, and taking stool softeners can help your body get back to normal and make you feel more comfortable. Swelling in your legs, feet, or hands may get a little worse before it gets better. Walking, drinking water, and propping your feet up can help. You will probably still have some pain and may need to continue taking your pain medications. Abdominal pain may continue after you leave us and cramping may become more apparent when breastfeeding. Incision pain is also normal and will subside over time. Taking your pain medication in anticipation of activities will help lessen your discomfort. Continue to take your prenatal vitamins at home, especially if you are breastfeeding or pumping. Your doctor will tell you when to schedule a follow-up appointment. At this appointment, your doctor will examine you and discuss birth control options. If you are breastfeeding, wear a supportive bra. If you are formula feeding only, wear a well-fitting sports bra and avoid breast stimulation and hot showers. Breast massage and warm showers can help with milk production and can also stimulate letdown reflex if you are engorged. Engorgement is when your breasts become full, firm, and tender. Frequent breastfeeding, manual expression, or breast pumping is recommended to avoid engorgement. Cold compresses after feeding help relieve engorgement. Now that you're familiar with what is normal and what to expect when you get home, let's talk about what's not normal. Here are some symptoms and health problems that would require you to call your doctor. There is an acronym to help you remember these signs and symptoms. Just remember, post-birth. P, pain in your chest. O, obstructed breathing or shortness of breath. S, seizures. T, temperature of 101 Fahrenheit or higher. B, bleeding, soaking through a pad in one hour and or blood clots larger than a golf ball. Remember, bleeding will be heavier in the beginning and will gradually get lighter. After this stage, if you experience any bright red heavy bleeding, please contact your doctor. I, incision that is not healing. This may include redness and warmth around incision site, bleeding or any foul smelling discharge coming from your C-section incision. R, red or swollen leg that is painful or warm to touch. This could be the sign of a blood clot. T, thoughts of hurting yourself or someone else. This could be a sign of postpartum depression. 
It's normal to feel frequent changes in your mood. These emotions are due to your new role as a parent, or perhaps sleep deprivation. It is not normal when you feel disinterested in taking care of yourself or your baby. When you feel sad most of the time, or if you ever feel like harming yourself or others. Postpartum depression is real, and you or your family members should contact your doctor immediately if you are experiencing any of these feelings. H. Headache that does not get better, even after taking medicine, or a bad headache with vision changes. This could be a sign of preeclampsia. Preeclampsia can develop due to sustained high blood pressure. If you had high blood pressure during your pregnancy, you should be especially mindful of these symptoms. This headache might also be accompanied by pain under the right rib area. Now that we've given you the post-birth tool, here are some other reasons you might want to call your doctor. Uncontrolled pain. If you have taken your pain medications and are still in severe pain, call your doctor. Uncontrolled nausea or vomiting. Frequency, urgency, or burning when you urinate. This could be a sign of a urinary tract infection. Bowel vagina odor. No bowel movement after four days, even with walking, fluids, fiber, stool softener, and laxatives. Red streaks on your breast. This is a sign of mastitis, an infection of a blocked duct in the breast. This would usually cause a fever of 101 Fahrenheit or higher and severe pain in one or both breasts. You might also feel like you have the flu. Contact your doctor immediately if you are experiencing these symptoms. Remember, for all of these signs and symptoms, if you can't get a hold of your doctor for any reason, don't wait. Call 911 or go to your nearest emergency department. If you have any additional questions or need clarification, please let your nurse know and they would be more than happy to go over any concerns with you. Our team wants to ensure you have the support and help at home you need for a healthy new beginning. After you are home, please refer to the resources and materials provided by your care team. We're so glad you chose Virginia Hospital Center and wish you and your family the very best as you transition home.